Today's video is going to be breaking down how to get some A-gap pressure in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody and we're breaking down the Dime 146 formation out of the New England Patriots this uh, week for our, our defensive scheme of the week. Yesterday we talked a little bit about the cover 2 sink and how we like to use it. It's kind of like a bend but don't break style of uh, defense to kind of open the game similar to like a cover 3 buzz kind of thing. And uh, in today's video we're going to be breaking down how we like to use uh, the Big Dime 146 uh, over uh, some man pressure here for you guys today and uh, what you want to do is you want to go into your depth chart real quick for this and your best acceleration you're looking for high 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 acceleration that's really what we're looking to get here uh, so we go over to the acceleration we see uh, 85 86 86 85 88 here um, and, and this 88 guy has only 67 strength so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with this guy here Charles Johnson, he's got 75 speed, 83 strength, 86 acceleration. We could also use Jared Allen. Um, he's got a little bit more strength, but he doesn't have quite the same acceleration. So we're going to use uh, Charles Johnson. So what you want to do is you, once you find that player that has that high acceleration rating, you want to go into the uh, big dime 146, and you want to sub him in uh, to this defensive tackle spot. So we're going to sub in Charles Johnson. He's a 90 overall here. So he's going to work really well for this. And then you can leave everything else like as we set it up in the depth chart. But anyway, the play we're going to come out in, for our man pressure uh, is this play here if I can find it, overload blitz okay so that's the play we're going to be utilizing to get some man pressure uh, and what we want to do with this play is we want to baseline press shift our line to the right pinch our linebackers so that's the base setup for everything that we do it's actually going to put them in a very good position against man to man and then we're going to take this safety we're going to bring him down to the box and we're going to user control him so we like to take him off his blitz and put him on a little curl our little hook zone and then also you want to make sure that you crash your line to the left that's the key to the whole blitz you see we're gonna you know use this guy we're gonna crash him to the left and we're gonna try to get him to come free right up the a gap so here we set that up and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see some nice uh... well we didn't get the a gap so i think it's um, one reason you may not get a gap pressure in practice mode is because the offensive line has time to sit so let's show you this one more time come out we're gonna shift our line to the left crash our line to the or shift our line to the right crash our line to the left Base align, press, pinch linebackers, and that's all we have to do for the blitz. And then we can bring this safety down. I personally like the quarterback attain rush, but that's just me. And uh, here, and uh, I think we didn't get set up again. So here I'm going to set the play up really quick, and then we can see if it works. So, uh, so I'm just going to set it up really, really, really quick, to, so the offensive line doesn't have time to, to have time to uh, to see it. And so there I set the play up. And uh, there you see Charles Johnson starting to kind of come up the A gap. Um, may have to show this in game. I hate when practice mode really f's up my blitz. It's better from zone. It's it really is better from zone. Here we'll show it to you. And Charles Johnson may just not be fast enough. He may not he may not have enough acceleration. Um, in Madden Ultimate Team, I recommend using Aaron Lynch. He has 96 acceleration, so this blitz is crazy good with him. It gets in almost every time. Um. And there you see he's starting to come up. Let's sub in a uh, faster guy here. So let's go back to our main menu. You remember that guy, AJ Klein? He had 88 Excel. Let's put him in there and see if that changes the outcome. Uh, I apologize, guys, for not doing my homework on the Panthers roster. Um, but the cool part is you can get linebackers in here, so we can put anyone we want. Um, so AJ Klein, overload three press. And then we just go by form, and we're just going to use a basic passing play here to show this. And then just come out. And this is the. Uh, and there you see the pressure. So, so there's the pressure. Um, I think it is a matter of speed, honestly. I think we actually picked the wrong play. We came out in the overload three press zone play. We need to come out in the man. Uh, to show you the uh, the cool part is it has a man and zone version of the same blitz. So uh, the man version is this play overload blitz, and then the zone person. We'll show you the zone tomorrow, but um, and of course it doesn't pick the recent plays I've been using. Uh, just, just come out in doubles, and we'll just fuck it. But anyway, come out. This is a setup again. Uh, shift your line to the right, crash your line to the left, base the line press, pinch linebackers, and then I like to take this guy right here and put him in a zone. And um, well, for some reason it's not working right. I'm not quite sure why either. Um, let's try this. Um, sometimes it's a little bit of a... It is kind of finicky with regular teams because you don't have that high excel. 
Uh, but if we bring Bearwinkle off the edge a little bit, let's see if that, and there you see, there's the pressure. So it really is just a matter of getting them to pay attention to that slot blitzer. Um, so it's still the same setup. It, it's just a matter of, you know, you may want to bring Burwinkle in a little bit. The cool part is this is going to go with our cover to sink because we messed with him a little bit there. Um, in the event that it doesn't come in, it's mainly because we're in practice mode. Uh, I just have to be honest with you. Um, if I go to game mode, I could show you that it will work. Uh, but anyways, guys, just trust me, this does work. Um, you're going to see them, you know, you've seen it a couple times here come through. It's mainly the fact that when we come out our line is already down in the down position when you play in mutt you're gonna be able to get him over there before um, before they're ready so um, yeah so that's really what we wanted to do is just kinda talk about this play I was hoping it would work for you guys and just 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 to show you the pressure but for some reason practice mode is being a little ridiculous and uh, it's not letting us get the it's not letting us get the pressure in um, basically the the end of this kind of if you want to get it in in practice mode is you just want to bring that slot corner off the edge and you see you're gonna get that a gap as you can see here the, the the idea the concept it does work the setup does work it's it's just a matter of practice mode is a little finicky uh, in the way that it in the way that it does things um, if you run the same blitz over and over again, it doesn't work as good. And also, if the line has time to digest what you're doing, so if they're just sitting there pre-snap and watching you in practice mode, they could ease, you know, it, it allows them to pick up the pressure. But here you see the couple of success rates. So I just wanted to show this, but this is our man blitz, guys, and uh, and and it's pretty. It really is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna use his own version more anyway. But just wanted to at least give you the opportunity to see man. Um, the cool part with the dime one four six is you don't necessarily have to man a line uh, because it's in such a good position. The formation itself is in a really good form position.